Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 14th, 2021. Unfortunately, guys, this is the second time of recording this video, so it's going to be late today. I had a computer malfunction with the recorder. I apologize. So let's take a look at what's going on here in this chart, see if we can gain some information today on the Thursday edition of the Morning Marker Prep video. Good morning once again everyone. Thank you so much. I'm going to talk fast and try to make the video a little bit shorter than normal just because I want to get this video out to you guys. Um, I apologize for the lateness. Let's take a look here in the Dow. Now Diamonds yesterday had a nice little popping rally. Um, we pushed down um, due to um, that inflationary data but we recovered giving us a glimmer of hope of a rally back. So let's take a look. If we draw this downtrend in here let's be a little bit careful about jumping or racing into the market here this morning because keep in mind we have very significant levels of price resistance in this chart above now if that if we have um, we've got just a slew of data today and earnings and other things if that data comes in positive we could certainly see kind of a short squeeze rally as we push some of those short traders out but don't ignore the these resistance levels in the chart. We've seen several opportunities in here where we have popped up in that pre-market only to find that we find bears up here. So be really careful if those bears happen to be setting up in here waiting to defend. So watch that closely today as we get that bullish push. It's all going to depend on the data and how this data rolls out this morning. Let's take a look at our SPY. Now our SPY, a little bit better situation if I take a drawing here and draw down this trend line. Excuse me, my charting software decided to change the tools on me automatically so give me a second drawing right down here as you can see we have a little bit of a of a break of the downtrend and a hold in here and if you take a quick look we have an inverted head and shoulders that is starting to develop in the chart and that's just a direct oppose of the head and shoulders pattern right above and interesting enough the neckline of both of those patterns seems to come right through here right through that price resistance area in the chart kind of interesting so watch that carefully um, in here as we approach these resistance levels in uh, the SPY that chart this morning um, we could find those bears still being a little bit feisty and potentially push this back down so watch that closely we've seen an awful lot of the pop and drop pattern here recently so be careful chasing into price resistance in the chart now the QQQ has a little bit more of a of, of a task here to complete today notice that we have this downtrend here in the chart we're trying to pick up here in this level but we have a very significant price resistance level here in the chart right across here and also through here so watch that carefully if we can get enough bullish energy we could certainly push on through there and squeeze out those short trades but also keep in mind that, that would be exactly the place where we could see the bears defend so watch for that potential pop and drop and on all three of these um, indexes that I just took a look at notice that even if we breach up into there we still have to tackle that declining 50-day moving average on the Q QQ and the SPY and the diamonds. So we still have a lot of work to do here if we're going to correct some of these technical patterns in the chart. However, there is that glimmer of bullish hope and that potential little squeeze that could occur in here today. Let's take a look at our IWM. Now IWM had a nice little rally back yesterday after initial selling and that's pumping up pretty good here this morning with those financials finally coming in to help a little bit. Um, with those oil sector um, stocks. So keep that in mind, we're pushing up into this downtrend here in the chart, but 
I still have a big concern here with the Russell. Even though we may be trying to breach that downtrend, notice we have a year's worth of data up here showing that resistance. So not 100% sure that we're gonna find the energy to push right on through here. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our um, VIX here quickly. Our VIX had a nice little day yesterday. We started went off with a little bit of fear, but notice we pushed back nicely. We ended up resting, uh, finishing up the day, just kind of resting right there on that upside trend. So the question for today is if we can hold that bullishness, we should see this drift down below, and that would be bullish. Um, if we could see that fear dropping out of the market. So watch that carefully if that can or could occur. However, if we catch that pop and drop today, we could also see that, that possibility that we could bounce right off of this and start back up. So watch carefully depending on how these data points come out today. Moving right along, let's take a quick look at our T2122. Now T2122 had a nice little rally yesterday, but this also provides a little bit of concern. With this gap up open this morning, we could easily see T2122 already reaching up here into the bearish reversal zone. So we could reach that overbought condition really quickly in the chart, and it may happen to line up pretty closely with those resistance levels in the chart. Now, can we push through? Certainly. We've seen that before in this market where we just rush and rush and rush in. But I got to I got to caution everyone to be a little bit careful. Um, these bull, uh, excuse me, the bears are a little bit. Uh, more on the fight than we've seen here recently, and they certainly could react negatively to some of the data coming our way this morning. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at, um, I'm gonna jump right past the T2107 that's still in a downtrend, um, but is trying to come up a little bit. And let's just take a quick look at what we have going um, on our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar could be pretty darn busy um, and could provide quite a little bit of volatility in the market. Notice right in here, we've got jobless claims here at 8.30. Those things have been a little bit pesky. And even though they continue to be ignored, um, uh, by and large, I mean, just think about last Friday's number was horrific. And yet we just kind of ignored it and said, don't care. We don't care about jobs. So watch that carefully. But I think the one that could have a little bit more pressure here today would be the PPI. If that PPI number can, comes in showing um, an inflationary pressure that is growing, that could be a problem for the market and could certainly inspire the bears. However, if it comes in better than expected or in line, may just embolden those bears to continue to push on higher. Notice we have Fed speakers. Um, they'll be going on all day talking about taper and uh, that kind of thing. That could also create some fluctuations in the market. And then we're going to get that petroleum status. This could be an important number today because oil sector stocks have surged so much here recently. If this number was, was to come in and show a build in supplies, that could catch that pullback in the that energy sector. So watch carefully. If you want that the energy sector to continue moving up, we want to see this come in with a surprise decline in supplies. We have that natural gas in here, but I don't think anybody's going to pay attention to that. And I'm pretty sure nobody cares um, that the Fed balance sheet is over eight and a half trillion dollars. Um, we just don't seem to care about debt anymore. Um, let's take a look and just realize that as you plan forward tomorrow, um, we've got retail sales here and a slew of other reports that could potentially move us. And I think it could be either this one or this one that could be the telltale for tomorrow. So watch those carefully and plan carefully as you move forward. Let's take a look 
at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we have about 20 companies on the earnings calendar. And guys, because I'm gonna shorten up this video, I'm not gonna cover all of the earnings here this morning. But just know that we have quite a few earnings. We're gonna hear from UNH that had a nice little pop on its earnings this morning. We're gonna hear from USB. We're gonna hear from Morgan Stanley, WFC, we're going to hear from Citibank. We're going to hear from Chipotle Mexican Grill. We're going to hear from Domino's Pizza. Um, and we have others in there as well. So keep a close eye on these reports um, as they roll out here this morning. Right now, the banks seem to be in pretty good shape. They're trying to pump us up, and that will certainly help the um, um, IWM if XLF can, if we can see those financials push back up and deal with this kind of nasty little resistance level that we've created here in that chart. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor click that thumbs up but click those subscribe buttons click the thumbs up button make sure you click that bell icon when it pops up make sure you leave a brief comment of some kind on the channel that's the engagement with the the video that makes the difference and i truly truly appreciate that if you can do that for me it helps the channel to grow and also um please feel free to share these videos out on your social media feed and thank you so much to everyone who continues to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link i truly appreciate it you guys are absolutely awesome thank you thank you thank you let's take a look at a few charts that are setting up now a couple of these as you guys know i've been mentioning amd in the morning prep videos here for a while amd breaking that downtrend showing that bullishness in here there was my price alert pushed on through and pushing on up here here today so watch some of that tech sector it may be trying to pick up in a few places amd being a very beautiful chart here for that potential move one of my favorite patterns where we break the downtrend prove to hold it as support and then those buyers come in and we are off to the races looking good another another tech you might want to keep an eye on take a look at nvidia i was looking at nvidia last night and it had started down yesterday, but pushed back up. So notice we have a little bit of that same pattern. It all depends on where you draw that. But if we were to draw that across here where we broke that little downtrend push, pushing back above this price support in the chart and holding, and now we're seeing a little bit of follow through this morning to the upside. You will have to keep in mind that we do have this bigger downtrend that we're going to have to work on as we push up there, but watch that closely. Nvidia could be something to be keeping an eye on. You might also wanna keep an eye on Roku. Now Roku is a trade that I am in, right way options folks are in this, we're up about four 40% on this position. There's that pattern again, breaking that downtrend, holding the higher low, pushing to the upside. Um, Roku starting to come around and look pretty good. So making some money there on old Roku. Please keep in mind, I have a bias on that. So watch that closely. You might also want to keep a close eye on um, some of these um, automaker stocks. Take a look at Ford. Ford just really really strong here in this chart and if i tighten up this um, trend in here just a little bit of rest or consolidation in here could set up that next opportunity in the trade i wouldn't want to chase it however i do think general motors could be coming into that place where this is set up so watch this right in here been moving up in this trend this little resting consolidation starting to happen in here if we can find that bullishness in the market we might be able to push right on through to the upside here so watch that carefully if those bulls can pick that uh, trade up to the upside um, also i think we might want to be keeping an eye as you guys know i've been mentioning this why 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 looking good and in that rounded bottom breakout pattern continuing to show bullishness in that chart and um, i want to mention kmi now kmi uh, traders, um, right way options traders are in this position. Um, this has just um, been like a rocket shot 
to the upside. Keep a close eye on that. We're looking extremely bullish and notice that we're just screaming higher here this morning, trying to break this really long term downtrend in the chart. Now, I would tell you not to chase this at this point. Make this rest or pull back before entering a trade in here. Uh, but Kinder Morgan looking pretty strong here um, on the day. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in trading and um, apologize for the lateness of the video. I will be out this morning. I may be a little late in answering the um, responses back. I have to go see um, a dentist and have a cap put back in place that I broke um, just recently. So um, I will be gone first thing this morning here. But um, if you guys um, leave those comments, I will promise to get to those later today. Everyone have an awesome one. Take care. Be safe. We'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one, everyone.